Welcome to a video from the digitallife.com. In this video, we're going to have a look how you can add network server locations to the film and TV or movies and TV app, as it depends on your region and what it's called, so that you can watch movies stored on a server in your network through this machine without any additional software. This is one of the things actually that's featured in my new book, Entertainment Apps on the Go, Windows 10. Um, but this is very simple. So you get the film and TV's app, what might be called movies and TV app, depending on region. So the, the app is broken down into three sections, film, TV and video. Film and TV are content from the store that you purchase or rent. Videos is where your own personal collection goes in. And you'll see this little banner here. Here's where you'll see personal videos and it's in settings, show us where to look. And if you haven't got that banner, you can, sell, you can go to settings and then you do the option there. Choose where we look for videos. So I've set this up already to get to this network location, but I'm going to add another location. It's already watching the videos folder and uh, another folder. So let's say you had uh, my surface here, I've got an SD card plugged in. You could then tell it to look in the SD card. You could tell it to look at a USB drive or it could be a network drive. So I'm going to use a network drive. So I click on the plus there and now you browse for where the content is. So let's just say um, I was in this documents folder, so for example. You can click on that, add this folder, and it'll start watching that documents folder. Now that's a local folder. That's my OneDrive folder. So you could actually use that for OneDrive if you've got videos in your OneDrive, but that's not what I want to do for this one. So I'm going to add that, and I'm going to look on the network. I have already got this machine on the network uh, there it is and the movies folder is what I want so I add this folder to videos okay that's done so you can see that I could have manually typed that out as well if I, did, if I didn't have that if you don't have the server showing up in the or the other PC showing up in the network then you've got to do some network settings and that's probably some content for another video or like I said you've got tips on that in the book as well. You can use home group as well for that. In fact, I'll quickly show you home group. Um, we can go through home group here. Home group is a, a, a networking system for PCs at home. Again, this is covered in the book, so I won't do this now, but you can have a, a, a network. Uh, it's an easy way of sharing content between devices on your home network using home group. I'll probably do a separate video on that. Anyway, so I've added this server in now. So I've got this movies folder done. And that's done. So now if I go back to my video section, this will now start to index that uh, folder. So it's currently not done it yet, but it should uh, start looking in those folders. Okay, so I've added that fo server folder and here you can see all the content showing up and it's getting the image from the images from the server itself, which has got server images. I'm using um, my movies to catalogue the data or you can use Plex or MB or something like that so if you go into the folder you'll see the individual video files that are on there. It takes a bit of time to index if you've got a lot of content so just leave it open and it'll sort itself out. So there we go we've added uh, a server videos store to this um, a film and TV or movies and TV app in Windows 10. Um, I've got another video which shows you how to home group and then once you've got home group you don't have to worry about setting up user shares and things like that but uh, this and all those this and all those kind of uh, topics are covered in uh, my new book, Entertainment Apps on the Go, Windows 10 from A Press, available on Amazon. And we look at all these kind of things, plus media servers, music playing and other stuff as well. Thanks for watching this video. More on our YouTube channel and on the digitallifestyle.com.